and welcome to video tutorial 5 and this is all about images. Um, we have here our, bl our blank canvas and to create our project and our end video we will be adding what we'll call objects to this canvas. Uh, there are three types of objects you can uh, use in EasySketch Pro. There are images, uh, there is text and in version 2 there is now video as well. Uh, but we'll start with images which is probably the most common object you're going to use. Uh, to add an image to the canvas we can just come up here to this uh, icon here on the toolbar with a flower on it and if we hover over it it says uh, add image so we click on it and it opens the image library. Now EasySketch Pro comes with a, a very large number of uh, images you can use spread across all sorts of categories you can see down the left hand side here uh, I like to call them galleries as well but uh, categories just as good um, and more images are being added on a regular basis so uh, it's an ever expanding library uh, to navigate between the various categories uh, you can see we're, we're, on, we're on animals here and we've got a preview uh, or thumbnails of the images that are available <coughs> uh, if you can actually scroll down here there's actually uh, 25 showing per page so you scroll down to see all 25 um, if there are more than 25 images in a gallery or category then you'll get um, this next page uh, button being active and you can click on that to see the remaining uh, images and go back to previous next and so on okay to navigate between the various categories just click on the ones you want so we've got boats uh, we've got coffee shop, dog training and so on so do feel free just to uh, browse through the galleries and see what's available. Um, when you found an image you want to use in your project, let's say you want to use the chicken, you simply click on it and it appears in the middle of the canvas and notice that it's annotated with the number one. Uh, this is the order in which um, indicates the order in which objects will be drawn on the canvas. Seeing as this is uh, the first object and there's only one object, it's annotated number one. Okay, now with our chicken on the canvas, um, to do anything with it, you need to select it, and to do that, you just hover over the uh, image and double click on it, and it turns blue, and we get these four dots appearing at the corner so the blue object means it's selected to deselect an object you just click anywhere outside of it and it goes to this sort of uh, I don't know what colour you'd call that uh, browny type, type colour uh, but once it's selected uh, we can just hold the mouse down on uh, click on it hold the mouse button down and drag it around anywhere on the canvas or indeed off the canvas but remember if it's off the canvas it won't show up uh, in the final video so you move it around to where you want it to be. Um, you can also rotate and resize the image by clicking on, uh, clicking and holding on any of the uh, four dots at the corners. So if I hold on that, I can drag it in and out to resize uh, the image, and I can also drag it around to rotate the image like that. Okay, uh, move it around a bit more now. There are other options you can have uh, by selecting the uh, selecting the object and then right clicking on it uh, we bring up what's called the object menu which has uh, some additional options. Um, duplicate does what it says, we click on duplicate we see that uh, the chicken is now duplicated, we've got an exact copy of the first object. Uh, it's The copy is highlighted and we can drag that around and we can manipulate that as well. Uh, note that this one, uh, this object, has now got a number two annotated to it. It's the second object added to the um, the canvas. Okay, it's the first and this is the second. Uh, other options we've got here: delete, just obviously deletes the chicken. Uh, let's take this one. Uh, order up and order down will come to in a second. Copy setting, paste setting will come to in a second. Flip horizontally. Uh, puts the chicken around the other way and flip vertically as you'd expect puts the chicken on his back um, let's let's have him back the other way let's duplicate him again like so and let's flip him horizontally so they're looking at each other 
Now, uh, if you wanted, for example, we've got the two chickens. This, um, well, actually, let's stay where we are. At the moment, we've got these two objects. To actually uh, draw them, uh, all we have to do is come up here to the green arrow, which is the play button. Um, if we hover over it, it says preview items play. If we click on that, we can see that a hand, the magic hand appears and draws our two chickens. And notice that because this was number one, uh, this chicken was drawn first, and this is number two, so it was drawn second. Okay, but what if we wanted this one to be drawn first? Uh, that's easy enough. We just select it, right click on it, and we click on order up. So we want it to appear higher in the order. Order up will actually reduce the number. So at the moment it's two. If we click on order up, it becomes one. And now automatically, because this is now one, this becomes two. And if we press play this time, we see that our copy chicken is drawn first, followed by the first chicken. Um, notice that there, uh, if we select this object again, pull up the object menu, <coughs> there are uh, shortcuts to all of these options. So request focus is K, uh, duplicate is control and D, so you hold down the control key and then press D at the same time. Delete is the delete key, order up is shift plus up and shift plus down. Those are quite useful uh, to quickly change the order of objects on the canvas. Um, copy setting F, paste setting D, flip horizontally M, flip vertically N, and the properties is F2, but we'll come into the properties uh, in the next tutorial. So um, I recommend that you just uh, play around with adding images to the canvas. It's very easy. You can't break anything. And um, uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll look more at actually how anim the animation options we have for images. Okay.